and these are tomorrow night's programmes on BBC Two. At six o'clock, the Sasha Enterprise finds a strange planet. This time, nobody in a red shirt wants to beam down without danger money. Fox Wolf discovers animals at 6.50, this time discovering puppies and cute kittens. At 7.15, living in a council flat is the theme for the fourth in the series, Far From Paradise. Time Watch at 10 past 8 with Chris Williams, he shows us the fascinating workings of an antique clock. 9 o'clock and it's time for the comedy Yes Prime Minister, which viewers will find the government of Jim Hacker very much true to life. 40 minutes at 9.30, it's time with us at the BBC have tea, so we'll leave you with 40 minutes of government films and pictures of Noel Edmonds. Pot Black 86 takes us across to the Crucible, where through cigarette smoke we may be able to see some snooker at 10 past 10. Then return to Newsnight at 10.35, before rounding off the evening at 11.25 with World Bulls, where a group of men in flat caps discuss ferrets and pigeons. And that's tomorrow night here on BBC Two. And we now join Professor Mick Skipperton at the Emorpen University. Good evening, Professor McSkipton. Ready for you for your lecture on weathering pencils. Good afternoon. In this group of lectures, we'll be looking at AK Interactive weathering pencils. We'll look at different ways to use them and to how to achieve different effects. We'll begin with base painting. For this we'll use light rust, medium rust, dark rust and maybe gunmetal or graphite. And to demonstrate we'll use a spare section of tank armour which has been primed in a grey primer and just left in its natural state of a matte surface. Uh, the pencils will also work on a gloss or a satin surface too. The pencils themselves are watercolour, so are activated by simple water, obviously. They can be blended using brushes, cotton buds, or even sponges. So to base paint. We begin by activating the pencil by dipping it in water just taking off the excess and we can then apply directly to the surface. The idea is to keep the surface always wet so that the pencil flows more freely. You can use as many colours or as few colours as you wish and just, be, and just mix and match to suit your taste. We'll go with a dark colour. As I said, just remember to keep the surface nice and wet. Then, perhaps using some of the gum metal or graphite. You 
can also see here, if we're moving closer, that with the activated pencil, it actually does flow into panel lines. So it could also be used as a panel line wash. We keep going, just adding, keeping the surface nice and wet, and just adding and painting. It's as simple as that. Now these watercolour pencils are brilliant because there's no preparation, there's no clean up, there's no smell, safe to use. and they also work, uh, they are also not affected by solvents or enamels so if you're worried that something may react with your work these pencils won't. Now the proper effect won't come apparent until it dries so we'll leave this now to dry and then we'll come back and have a look. And as we come back we can see how the paint has now dried and everything is sort of blended together. We can add touch up by using a moist cotton bud or sponge and taking off the pencil and just adding in to blend even further. If you wanted to you could reactivate the paint at this stage by just adding more water. As an example we have a damp cotton bud. Just take off the excess and we can move the colours here from the edges until you achieve the effect that you're looking for. You can then go on if you wish to add further enamel washes such as the enamel uh, rust wash and pigments they can all be added as well but these pencils certainly make a great addition to your armoury for washing, uh, creating rust. Once again just activate the pencil with a touch of water. Now we can also then if we want just to use a soft brush just very damp just damp and just blend could just blend the hard edges pushing the paint around and excess water as I say will take the paint off So we can see here just basic base painting or base coating with weathering pencils. We'll now go across and have a look at another technique. And after the last effect having given our pencils a nice sharpen we can now move on and try our hand at doing some rust streaks. Uh, as you can see this time I've coloured the plastic in two colours just to give you a, an idea of how the effect looks on two different backgrounds. Uh, these uh, effects work best on a dry surface with a dry pencil uh, and we can begin by uh, giving the uh, effect of rust running down just a dry uh, line running down from the top of uh, 
the armour as, as rainwater would wash the paint down. And you can also really see that the green and the yellow or sand give, give two different type of effects. One more subtle than the other. But we can again blend these in just by using different coloured pencils. Obviously on the darker, on the green, the lighter pencils work a little bit better and a bit more visible. But they will all come into effect as we, as we blend and add the water. Really simply, just simple, uh, just draw a straight line down, or as straight as you can make it, a straight line down, and then we can be begin the effect of blending them. Once again, simply just use a nice flat wide paintbrush, a very small amount of water, just dabbing off the excess. Because remember, these do work best on damp, not wet brushes. And then just begin and draw the paint down. I can add or you can keep adding or taking away. In this case we'll just add until we get the right effect that we desire. We could even add some metallic graphite in. Just to add some different contrast. And just pull them down. Then if we've got too much, just using a cotton bud, we can take away. Or we can take it away completely and start again. That's the uh, good thing about these brushes or pencils. See, simple. <laughs> a little bit more subtle on the green, but they're still there. They're great for re using uh, weathering effects, uh, creating streaks. We could also, if we wanted, we could just build up, start to build up some rust in the corners. Could use the edge of the pencil to create some dry brushing type effect on the edges of the metal. And then we could, oops, we could just blend blend the colours in with a moist to damp brush and we could just add and build up these colours as we need to. Moist brush moistening the brush in a just a touch of water just to blend the pencils themselves can be mixed you can see the colours how they've changed here and the effect will be more 
pronounced it be heightened when the water dries out. So over here we can add maybe coming from some of these uh, rivets. Maybe a little bit difficult to see so we'll try it with a lighter colour. And once the paint, once the water dries away, we'll have a better effect. So continue with this until you're happy with the effect that you're trying to achieve. And as you come back, you could see I'm just applying some finishing touches and cleaning up some of the scratches and. Uh, rust streaks really easy to clean up and once again as you can see I put some more rust streaks on the dark green and it does give a more subtle effect and not as harsh as this but the pencils can be adapted uh, to your specific needs as a tip I have found that rather than dipping a brush into a tub of water, I have found that using just some dampness on a sponge just gives you the right amount of uh, moistness on your brush without overloading it too much. And it makes it easier to work with uh, and more intricate. And detail. As you can see I've moved down from the wide brush and to a smaller detail brush just for dragging and changing the effects a lot more. But as you can see these pencils do really give a quite good effective uh, result. I've got some chipping uh, some gunmetal chipping up here which I can pull down as well but that's just the the brown rust pencils and there is also other types of uh, pencils that can be obtained in small kits such as the chipping set and the dirk set and we'll probably be looking at those in another uh, uh, lecture. But in the meantime uh, we'll end this lecture. Uh, the um, details of the pencils will be in the course notes and please submit your uh, homework by the end of the next season. Okay we'll leave you all for this for now. Thank you for looking in. Thank you for joining Skipper Scale Models and Professor McSkipperton on this uh, interesting lecture having a look at weathering pencils. So until next time, thank you very much. This has been a production for the eMorpen University. Please subscribe to this channel for information on further lectures. Good night. And that's also the end of our evening on BBC Two, but you'll find uh, plenty of company on Radio Two, where Brian Matthew will be presenting round midnight for another hour, followed by Wednesday's Night Ride with Peter Dixon, starting at 1 a.m. And with the time now at coming up to one and a half minutes to midnight from all of us here on BBC Two, good night to you.